name is Herbie Baskin. I'm one of the chefs in the plate of passion. I have two students today. One of them is late. I normally don't get angry with students that are late. But what I do after, after the work hours, I take in, I talk to them and I explain to them that coming late is not acceptable because they are building their own career. And once they're building a career, that means they must make time at all times. It's very important. Okay? So I'll have I will have a chat with them. You know, we try to keep the spirit of you know, because some people, some youngsters come late, we don't know what the situation is. They could have probably have a psycho problem or some type of problem that stopped them from getting here on time. But we'll find out once they get here. But we'll keep a positive attitude towards all these students. Mm -hmm. That is our goal. Hey, what's up? What's going on? I don't know. I'm still sassy. Most of the time, when it comes to like important stuff, if it's casual, then I'll just make my way there. But, but I'm jokes. here on one time. This is important. So I'm here. This one here. This is the uh, I think we're left for cool as well. I think we're supposed to do a vegetarian or vegan. Oh, yes. So I think we have to do that one. But we're going to do the shower cash today. So today, what's going to take place today? We're going to do the middle course of the menu, which we're making a shower cash spring roll. Which shower cash is a traditional Bermuda dish, and we're going to make it into a spring roll. And we're going to have uh, a banana spicy dip sauce. And plus a Bermuda carrot and apple slaw. Have you ever had the shower before? No. Okay, this is, so this is our traditional, this is a Bermuda dish. You won't find it many places because not too many people make it. The most important part is we have to take the little oil. Okay, you see this thing? This part here, you have to cut this a bit away from the little. This is, it's, this is a very bitter taste. Once it bursts, it gets all through the liver. You cannot use it, or it gets through the shell. It gives you a very bitter taste. So you normally take this off. Okay. Now you see this liver? This is not too good a liver. That is good in the field. So today I'm going to be making shark has spring roll. I'm pretty excited but I don't really know what's going to happen with that. I've never had shark before. I recently just started eating fish so we shall see how that goes but overall I'm excited. Hopefully it turns out great. I'm making this okay. because it's very important when you're talking about Bermuda dishes with the students because it's not too often our students get the opportunity to prepare these unique Bermuda dishes like shawl okay. and this is an opportunity for them to learn. Yeah. Normally this is normally pure white because it's a moonlight when they catch these sharks. It's normally moon and the, the levels are very white because the level changes according to the weather. If it's bad weather, the level gets like this. If it's good level, it whitens up like this. This is just if I had it for a period of time. It's like, it's not, it's normally quite level, for on a moonlight night. These are the best levels to use. Because if you're cooking shark and you use it and you leave it out in the heat too long with the liver in it, and if the liver is not the good, then the shark will go. Okay? Fish. No, not at all. I don't really like it. I don't like the smell, but I'm willing to do it. All this, cut it up. I'm gonna cut it up. Uh, it's best to let the students get hands on. The students get hands on. I mean, I can make shower questions off with my eyes closed, 
what the students are learning. So we'll try to let them to get hands on, and we would guide them as they uh, uh, prepare the dish. Well, truthfully, I think that's how it should be. Give us more, I guess, freedom to do it, and he just guide us along the way. What's that? Just get in the pig? Yeah, we'll chop the ball. Okay. okay. Well, not to be old either. Actually, it's not a chopping one. Okay. I know you ain't done it. 